Good day, my fellow listeners. Welcome to today's tutorial. Today, I want to show you how to get the. Let's take a quick look. Uh, Monster Hunted Advancement. For that, you have to kill every single um, hostile mob in the game. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of them. So, today, I'm going to talk about each of those. And there's also a list in the description if you don't like, want to have tips on those and just want to see a list. Then you can go into the description and you can see what mobs you're going to need for that. There's one thing I forgot to say, because um, though this video was recorded in 1.16, uh, it's still going to update in every other version of the game. So if you play on 1.17, 1.18, uh, for you there is a list down in the comments with each new hostile mob that has been added. And also the list in the description is always going to be up to date. So as I said, there's a link um, in the comments to a video of mine where I'm going to tell you all about the new mobs and how to find them and how to defeat them. Okay, but now I'm going to talk quick about each of those mobs and how to find them and how to kill them. So we're starting off with number one, the zombie. You can find those basically everywhere and I think they spawn at the light level under seven uh, everywhere in the overworld. And they're pretty easy to kill and he uh, probably already came across one of those. Same goes for the skeleton. Same as the zombie, they spawn uh, under a light level of seven um, and you probably also uh, saw one or two of those guys. And again, same for the creeper. You can find this explosive fella uh, also in the overworld under light level of seven, and they're going to spawn basically everywhere. And again, same for the spider. Um, those are also everywhere to find in the overworld. Now to the spider's little brother, the cave spider. Uh, if you are in a mine shaft which generate underground and find a huge amount of cobwebs in one place, and in the middle of that, there's going to likely be a cave spider spawner. And yeah, that way you can find those and you also, of course, have to kill them. Then we have the Enderman. He also spawns everywhere in the overworld at a light level below 7. But he is quite rare in the overworld and also he can spawn in the nether. Uh, in a warped forest, for example, but also everywhere else. Um, the problem with him is that he quite rarely spawns uh, in the overworld or nether. So the best way to find them is, of course, in the end dimension. The next one is the slime and I'm actually looking like, for his eyes, but I can't find any. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> you can find a slime in the overworld in a swamp biome, and most of them are going to spawn if it is full moon. Also at Y32 bedrock, if you are in a slime chunk, also those guys are going to spawn. The nethery cousin from the slime is the magma cube. You can find those basically everywhere in the nether, especially in the basalt deltas, they're going to find a lot of magma cubes. And also in bastions, there are spawners with those, so you have to kill one of them in order to get one step closer to completing this achievement. So the slime has got a little brother, the spider too, um, so the zombie and the skeleton got one too. The zombies is called the husk, you can find those in deserts. Um, the difference to the normal zombie is that of course he spawns in deserts and he gives you the hunger effect if he hits you. So you have to kill this guy and also uh, the stray, so the stray is like uh, the ice version of the skeleton and if he shoots you, you're going to get slowness. So you can find those guys in every snowy biome, but um, there is a chance of them spawning. So there are some snowy biomes where they don't spawn and there are some where you are. But now, for example, if you are in one where none are spawning, I wouldn't recommend to go find a completely different snowy biome, but look nearby because a snowy tiger and a snowy tiger hill biome are different things. So um, could be that, you know, there's snow in the snowy tiger, but some in the snowy tiger hills. Changing things up from cold biomes to quite hot. Now we are going into the nether and there we go with the hoglin. Uh, this pig fella lives in the warped forest and you have to kill one of them in order to get one step closer to fulfilling this achievement. However, if you get this guy out of his habitat into the overworld, uh, he's going to uh, quickly turn into a Zoglin. Those aggressive guys are actually quite difficult to come across because Hoglins are afraid, I think, of nether portals. And you have to try to get one of them, uh, of course, through a nether portal. So I'd recommend using a lead and dragging a Hoglin through a um, nether portal. The next pig mob is the piglin, you can find those in the nether wastes biome, but also in the crimson forest. And if you wear golden armor, you, they are not going to attack you unless you um, hit one of them, or you're going to de destroy golden stuff nearby. So pay attention to that, but you also, as I said, have to kill one of those guys. And just like with the hoglin, if you bring those guys into the overworld, they're going to turn into a zombie fight piglin. Uh, but there's a way easier way to find one of those. Uh, by just going into the nether wastes biome, we should see a lot of them. From the nether wastes to the nether fortress, we get the wither skeleton. Those scary guys um, you can find there. 
And yeah, you also have to kill those in order to get this advancement. Another guy you're going to see in the Nether Fortress quite a lot is the Blaze. Uh, they also have their own spawner, so you can get a whole bunch of them uh, if you don't find one. And yeah, you also have to kill those. And you all probably know that this is not the only fireball shooting mob in the nether because we got the ghast too. And uh, those you can find uh, especially in the soul sand valleys. One of the most difficult uh, ones to get probably, or the ones that you're only going to be able to get in late game, is the shulker. I don't know why he is white. Uh, I think it was because I summed him in, then they for some reason tend to be white, I don't know. But yeah, so after defeating the ender dragon and going through the further end portal, um, you are going to have to find an end city, of course, to get an elytra, and in those end cities you're going to come across a shulker. Getting in the end and defeating the ender dragon is of course quite difficult. What's even more difficult is uh, completing a raid, and um, in a raid there are a whole bunch of mobs that you will come across. Uh, to start a raid you have to kill uh, a pillager or a vindicator with a um, banner on top of them, you could find those in outposts, in pillager outposts, but you maybe also have seen groups of pillagers running around with banners on top of their heads and if you um, kill them you're going to get the bad omen effect and when you go to a village um, you're going to start a raid and in a raid those guys for example are going to spawn the ravengers. Uh, those scary guys um, do deal a lot of damage and are pretty difficult to take down but you should be able to do that in order to get one step closer of fulfilling your task to uh, yeah, get this enchantment. The next one, the evoker, uh, you're not going to only get by uh, activating a raid, um, but also if you go into a woodland mansion, those are also the guys who drop the totems and who spawn this fellas, the Vex, but um, we're going to talk about those uh, in a few seconds. So yeah, uh, you also have to kill those guys. So as said, in a, f uh, in a forest mansion, or in a raid you can come across those guys. You've probably already seen those guys, um, but they always tend to have crossbows on them. So you can find those in pillager outposts, uh, or as said in raids, and you have to kill those, of course, in order to get this advancement. Now back to the Vex. Uh, the Vex are those creatures that get spawned by this guy. So those are not going to spawn if you like uh, kill this guy from 40 blocks away with a bow, uh, but you have to get like at least a bit closer to him to spawn vexes and you also have to of course take them down to get this advancement. And the last guy you're going to um, yeah, have to fight in a raid except uh, the witch that we're going to talk about later uh, is the um, Vindicator. He is the guy with the axe and he's going to also try to kill you if you start a raid and you have to kill him too to get this advancement. Though we already covered all the nether mobs, there's still one left and he is new in 1.16.2. So if you play in an earlier version, you don't have to worry about this guy. You can also find those, by the way, in a bastion remnant. Probably most of you already came across this fellow, the phantoms. So if you haven't slept for three nights, those guys are going to spawn and they're going to try to kill you. And if you flip that around and try to kill them, you're going to be one step closer to getting this achievement. So there are multiple zombie variations in the game of Minecraft. One of them is the drowned. If you go ahead, uh, swim through an ocean, you're probably going to find uh, one or two of those and you have to kill those in order to get this advancement. If you have built an enderman XP farm, you probably uh, came across those guys or if you work a lot with ender pearls, because every time you use an ender pearl, there is uh, a chance to get uh, a endermite, it's a 1 in 20 chance, and yeah, you have to kill those guys too in order to get this advancement. Another quite small mob is the silverfish. You can find those when you are digging uh, in a mountain's biome. But also if you are in a stronghold, you're going to get attacked by those guys quite a lot. So the last raid mob and also someone that you can find in a swamp biome is the witch. Uh, she has her own hut, a swamp biome, and if you can find one of those, this should be easy for you. So if you have a swamp biome, go ahead and look around if you can find a witch hut. If not, um, as said, they also come along in a raid and you have to kill one of them in order to get this advancement. The last zombie variation is the zombie villager and we can also hear the ender dragon getting quite loud so uh, we are getting close to the end. And yeah, the zombie villager, if you play on hard mode and get a villager get killed by a zombie and you kill this guy, then you should be done with killing all of the zombie types. And now to the last regular mob and then to the three bosses. Uh, that's the Guardian, so if you uh, find an ocean monument, which you can find by just swimming around in the ocean, um, yeah, in those ocean monuments you're going to find a whole bunch of Guardians. And you only have to kill one of them in order to, yeah, be able to have all of the regular mobs killed for this advancement. And now the three bosses. So we have the Elder Guardian, which you can just like the um, normal Guardian find in ocean monuments. 
and I think there are three of them in an ocean monument. Uh, yeah, you have to kill one of them um, to be able to complete this advancement. And the next one is the Wither, so for that you have to kill a whole bunch of Wither Skeletons to get three Wither Skulls. After that you have to summon him in, I bet most of you know how to do that. And yeah, after that when you kill him, you're not only going to get a um, Wither Star, but also you're going to get one point on your score list of killing all the mobs. And now to number 34, I guess actually, uh, the Ender Dragon, so I don't know why he was summoned like uh, 180 degrees off, uh, but he always does it, I have no idea why. So yeah, um, if you go into the end, uh, find a stronghold, activate the end portal, hop in there, uh, you have to fight the ender dragon to get back home. And if you do that, you not only have beaten the game, but also you should be done with all the mobs that you have to kill in order to get this advancement. And now with that all been said, thanks a lot for watching, especially for watching till the end. I hope this video helped you out. And if it did, consider leaving a like. It takes about three seconds and it's absolutely the best way to support me. Well, not actually the best way because if you haven't already and you would consider subscribing, I'd really, really appreciate that. And if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video, don't forget to hit the bell icon. I upload guides about farms and achievements every week. Um, also, I have a survival series running right now where I do a lot of stuff in a single episode and I'd be glad if you check it out because I put a whole bunch of work into that. So as I said, I'd really appreciate if you would leave a like and subscribe, maybe write a comment on what achievement I should do next or what farm I, build, I should build next and make a tutorial about that. And with that being said, thanks a whole bunch for watching and see you next video. Bye.